Tesla stock is down 65% in 2022, whereas in December alone, it has suffered 40% value destruction, which brings up the question, has the time come to buy Tesla now? The company missed their fourth quarter deliveries based on street consensus, went down to new 52-week low, and recently have started giving discounts across the board on its electric vehicles. Tesla stock is on a downward trend recently, but its fall is more than the broader stock market as there are other factors at play, which includes Elon buying Twitter as well. Today on the day of recording, it is trading at $122 and some change, but looking at its performance in the past one month, it is down almost 22%. It is during this time frame that stock reached its new 52-week low of about $102 a share. In the past six months, Tesla is down almost 49%, but year-to-date, it has gone up by 13.5%. The fact remains, it is down over 65% in the past one year, which is a huge value destruction for its shareholders. The recent sell-off was largely due to Tesla's Q4 less-than-expected delivery numbers. With about 405,000 deliveries in Q4, they fell short of Wall Street's consensus of about 420,000 vehicles delivered. Having made more vehicles than delivered this quarter could be a sign of slowing demand, logistic problems or both which added yet another cause of concern for the stock. Nevertheless, it has shown 18% jump as compared to Q3, about 33% jump in comparison to Q4 last year, whereas US has seen an overall decline in auto sales. Last year, Tesla was an unrivaled leader in EVs where its valuation peaked at $1.2 trillion. Others have launched their version of EVs to eat into Tesla's market share, but none of them are even remotely close to being profitable. Some analysts are now trying to value Tesla more like a car company than a technology giant. Their latest version of FSD software over the air updates Vertical integration from battery to software shows their software dominance. Right now, they are charging $15,000 for FSD and you still think Tesla is just a car company? Just give it a thought. Tesla has recently slashed prices of some of its popular EVs by 10 to 20% around the world, which is seen by experts as a step to boost customer demand. They are the only automaker that makes money while making EVs. Tesla in Q3 of 2022 has a net income of $3.3 billion with a gross automotive margin of 27.9%, which gives them room to lower prices to grab market share. They did increase prices last year when waiting period was too long. Price cuts now might reduce their profit margin by a few percentage points, but Tesla will remain the dominant EV player for years to come. Globally, Tesla's deliveries rose about 40% in 2022, but market was expecting more. Elon acknowledged last year that prices of new Tesla has become embarrassingly high, which he thought could dampen the demand. When the Fed started jacking up rates, it started downward trend in stock prices around the world and Tesla was no exception. On top of it, Shortage of semiconductors and ongoing COVID-related supply chain disruptions, slowdown in customer demand because of rising borrowing costs, concern regarding economic slowdown are one of the major contributing factors. All this dealt a further blow to company's share price, which went down by more than 65% last year. When Tesla stock price fell to a new 52-week low of close to $102 a share, Investors are bound to think if the time to buy the stock has come. Unfortunately, there is no simple answer for that. In the short term, given the market downtrend, it can go down even further as nobody has a crystal ball, but fundamentally, it looks much cheaper as compared to last year. In my limited wisdom, for a long-term investor, this could be a buying opportunity, but you need to keep an eye on a company's financials. Also, going all-in should be avoided, whereas taking the route of dollar cost average could be a better option. But that is me. I might be wrong. Do your own due diligence before investing based on your risk tolerance. As a disclaimer, 
I'm not a financial advisor. Please consult one before investing based on your personal financial situation. If you like the content that I make, please help me and my channel by liking, sharing and subscribing to it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.